Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up parental controls to check on your kid on the Samsung Galaxy S21 series. First, tap on the home key to go back to your home screen. Then swipe down at the top and tap on the settings button. In settings, you want to go down and tap on digital well-being and parental controls. And in here, tap on parental controls and then tap on get started. And so here, who will be using this device? So if you are setting this device up for your kids, then you choose child or teen. If you are the parents, you choose parents. And then it says you need to download and install family link. And I'm going to tap on get family link from the Google Play Store. So in here, we're going to download and install. So I'm going to choose install Google Family Link for parents. Okay, after it has uh, finished with the installation, we can tap on the open button. And now we will continue to set up the process. So we're going to tap on the down button here. Allow to block apps, locate child's device at a glance. So we're going to tap on get started. And here we're going to choose the account that we want to use. So I'm going to choose this uh, test account. So say who will be using this phone? I'm going to say parents. And then choose next. And then tap on I'm ready. And say, does your child have a Google account? If they do, tap on yes. If no, choose no. So I'm going to choose yes. So say, get your child's device. And then tap on next. So say, on your child's device, you need to download this information. So I'm going to go over here onto the child's device. And you need, also need to install a family link on this child's device as well here on the child's device i'm also installing google family link okay now i'm going to tap on the open button on the child's device and it says who will be using this phone so i'm going to choose child and it say get the apps so it looks like we have the wrong app so i'm going to tap on this one here so we need to get the family link for children and teenager so i'm going to get the correct one and then I'm going to choose installed. So on a child's device, we need to download Google Family Link for children and teens. So I'm going to tap on open. So it says Family Link for children and teenagers. So I'm going to choose this device. And then we need to add an account for the child's device. If you haven't got one, then you need, you need to create a new account. So here we're going to create a new account. So I'm just going to create a test account. So it could not find. So I'm going to tap on create account for myself. And then tap on next. And then you can choose the birthday. Okay, so you want to go ahead and create the account for your child and then choose that account. And now say other accounts will be removed. And then tap on next. So it's, re it's removing the parent's account on this device. So this is where you put in this code here. And 77 V C D 5 S G. So, so this is um, wrong. So I'm just going to try it again. Okay, I have to put in the correct code. It now says your parents want to set up family link supervision for you on this device. If verify that is you, you need to print the password.
So I'll put in the password and tap on next. Then tap on, on the join button. So you can see this is a long process, but uh, if you are patient, you can uh, set up. And once you have set up, you can uh, monitor uh, your child's device to give them the, the all the protection that they need. So your parent needs to confirm that they want to supervise your account. So we go back into the parent's account. And say, is this the account you want to supervise? We're going to tap on yes. And we go back to this one. So we need to go back and forth between the two devices. And here you say accounts settings and controls, apps and supervised devices, location, screen time on supervised device. And you can tap on more. There's a lot more of the things that you can do. You can see what else you can do. Remotely see what's on your screen, see your past searches, see your Chrome browsing history, see and reset your account password, read your emails and messages, listen to your calls, unlock your device, erase your device or data set. The parents can actually do a lot of things on your device. Uh, stopping supervision, you can stop supervision at any time, but your parents will be notified and your supervised devices will be temporarily locked. You can still make emergency calls when the device is locked. So tap on next, and then tap on allowed, and then tap on allowed. I'm just going to go back here and check to see if there's anything else I need to do. So they are both in a waiting state. So I say go and get your parent. So I'm going to tap on next. And then name this device, tap on next. And it says reviews the apps that you can use. And then tap on more. More, more, more. And then tap on next. And now it is finishing up. Now I'm just going to tap on next. Your devices are connected. And tap on done. Okay, so I guess this is where it's uh, finished. You can tap on the review button to check your app's limit. And you can go down here. You can see what's uh, which app has been installed, uh, the name of the device, and that's it. So now we have successfully set up parental controls on the parent's device and the child's device. So let's go to the parent's device. And here you can use the default parental controls or you can customize uh, your own parental controls. So if you choose customize parental controls, tap on next. I say, okay, so I said the device is ready to supervise. I'm going to tap on the continue button. So continued. And that's it. Once it is finished, you can track the location. So I say here, location, get peace of mind knowing where the phone is with the device. So you can choose to set up. You can choose to manage the settings. Manage controls for things like mature content, website, location, and more. Uh, you can check out the app activity, uh, screen time. You can set up the screen time on your child's device. You can see which app have, has been installed uh, this week. Uh, you can check out the device battery, uh, when it was last online. And yeah, a lot of things that you can control if you go through the apps. You can see there are heaps of things that you can do with this app to control your child's device. And that's it, that's how you can set up your child's device. Uh, your, your, you can set up the family link, parental controls on your device and your child's device on the Samsung Galaxy S21 series. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.